أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم احمد هو نصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد وي شال ناو كنتينيو ويز ايه نمبر 47 من سوره المؤمن اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وايز يتحاجون في النار اند جست ايماجن وين دي بيبل ان دي هيل ان دي فاير ويل بي كوارلينج وذ ايتش اذر فيقول الضعفاء للذين استكبروا those people who were oppressed in this world they will say to their leaders who were arrogant inna kunna lakum taba'an we were your followers in that world fahal antum mughluna anna naseeban min an-nar so now can you avert from us at least some portion of this fire can you get, get Can you get the intensity of the fire reduced for us? Qala al-lazid astakbaru. Then those who were arrogant in the world, they would say, Inna kun kulun fiha. We are all in this fire. Inna Allah qad hakam bain al-ibad. Really, Allah subhanahu wa taala has judged between His servants. Wa qala al-lazid fi nar ili khazanat jahannam. And now these people who will be in the fire, they will say to the keepers of the hell, "Udu Rabbakum, you have to find a yawma min al-azab. Please pray to your Lord, so that He may lighten for us a day of chastisement." Kalu awalab ta ko taati kum rosulukum in baliyanat. They will say, "Did not your messengers come to you with clear proofs?" Kalu bala. they will say yes they did come qalu fadru then they will say now you you pray yourself we are not going to ask the forgiveness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you wa ma du'aul kafirina illa fi dhalal and the praying of the disbelievers is but in vain no use the disbelievers when they are praying to allah in the same way those who say we believe but don't act accordingly their prayers are so not allah subhanahu wa taala does not listen unless they repent decide make a covenant now i will not do anything wrong then allah will listen to his prayers and grant his prayers inna la nansuru rusulana wal ladina amanu fil hayati ad dunya surely we shall help our messengers and those who believed in us in the life of this world wa yawma yaqumu al-ashhad and also on the day when the witnesses will stand yawma yanfa'u zalimina ma'dhiratuhum yawma la yanfa'u zalimina ma'dhiratuhum the day when these evil doers will not be able to avail of any excuses wa lahum al-ladatu and there will be for them the curse of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala walahum suddar and their theirs will be the evil abode wa laqad atayna musa al-huda wa awrasna bani israil al-kitab and we gave musa alayhi salatu was salam guidance and we made the children of israel inheritors of that book hudan wa zikra li ulil albab that book torah was a guidance and an admonition for men of understanding fasbir So, O oh, you Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, have patience, persevere. In the word Allah, Hakkun, the promise of Allah is going to be true. Was taqfir le zambik, and you apologize to Allah and ask His forgiveness for any shortcomings 
that might have come from you. Wasabbe biham jarabbi ka and glorify Allah, your Lord, with His praise, bil ashi wal ibkar during the evenings and during the mornings. Inna ladina yujadiluna fi ayat Allah bi ghair sultanin ataum. Verily, those who dispute concerning the revelations of Allah, without any authority that might have come to them, in fi sudurahim illa kibrun. Actually, in their chests, there is pride and arrogance. Mahum be baligi, which they can never attain. First time is Billah. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you seek the refuge of Allah. In the who was Samiul Basir, verily, He is all listening. And all seeing, the khalku samawat wa lardi akbaru min khalki nas. The creation of heaven and earth was definitely greater and more difficult than the creation of the people. Walakin naksir nas la ya alamun, but most of the people don't have the knowledge. Wama yastamil ama wal basir. And a person who sees and a person who is blind, they are not equal. Walazin ama nu amal salihat wa wal musi in the same way. Those who believe and do good deeds are not equal to those who are committing errors and evils. Pali lama tadabat karun, but little is the admonition that you get. In the saat alatiyatun, surely, definitely, that hour is to come. It will come. La reba fiha. There is no doubt in it. Walakin nasr al nasr layu menun, but most of the people are not going to believe. Wa kala rabbu kum duruni yastajib lakum. So this ayah is also very important regarding the main theme of this surah. Dua, dua to Allah. Why is the call of Rabbu Kumu Duni just a little too? And your Lord says, "Call upon me. I will listen to your prayers. I will grant your prayers." In the Ladina just a little too, I am bad at it. Very those who don't pray to me, who don't worship me, out of arrogance, say, "Yad Khulu na Jahannam da Akhirin." They will enter the hell disgraced. So, dua and ibada are synonymous. Father, Rabbu kumu duuni astajib lakum. Inna lazina yastakbirun an ibadati. Sayyid Khulu na Jahannam da Akhirin. So, first the word dua has come and then ibada, because they are synonymous. I gave you the hadith. A dua of mukhl ibada. Dua prayer is the essence of worship. A dua hua libada. Dua actually, prayer is actually the worship. Allahu Ladi Jalla Lakum Laila Tasunu Fi Wan Nahara Mufsira. It is Allah who made for you the night so that you can have respite in it, repose in it. And He made day when you can see. In the Allah that you fasli on the nas. And verily Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is full of bounty for the people. ولكن أكثر الناس لا يشكرون، but most of the people they don't give thanks. زالكم الله ربكم خالق كل شيء. He is Allah, your Lord, Creator of everything. لا إله إلا هو. There is no God except Him. فنا تو فكون. So where from are you being diverted or deviated? كذلك يوفق الذين كانوا بآيات الله يجحدون بآيات الله يجحدون in the same way. Those were also in the past diverted or perverted, who belied the revelation of their Lord. Allahu Ladi Jalla Lakum Larda Karara. It is Allah who has made for you this earth as a resting place. Was Sama Bina, and He has made this heaven a roof. Was Sabwa Lakum Fasal Sawa Lakum, and He has fashioned you and fashioned your form so well. Barada ka kumut tayyeba, mera tayyeba, and he has provided you with the best foods, with very pure foods. Lord of the, zalikum Allahu Rabbukum. He is Allah, your Lord. Fatabarak Allahu Rabbul Alamin. So blessed is Allah, who is the Lord of all the worlds. Who al Hayy? He is ever living. La ilaha illahu. There is no God except Him. Fadruhu mukhlasin Allahu Dhi. So call upon Him, but Keeping your obedience exclusive for Him. Again, this word has come. Mukhlisin alaud. Vadruho. Do call upon Him. Do pray Him. 
But you know, the prerequisite is that you have your obedience, to absolute obedience, totally reserved for him, for nobody else. Anybody else can be obeyed. Where there is no disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if it entails the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is not to be obeyed. Whether he is your father or mother or husband or ruler or whosoever he is, who commands something contrary to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is not to be obeyed. This is Tawheed. Tawheed fil itah. This is the Tawheed in obedience. And that in the same way, Tawheed fil mahabbah, Tawheed in love. You can love your children, you can love your spouses, you can love your parents, you can love your country. But Allah's love must be above all this. If the love of any one of these things becomes equal to the love of Allah, it is shirk. Now he is sitting by the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the throne of your heart. You are loving that thing also, just equal to your love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what to say when the love of something exceeds the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I have already quoted the hadith of the Prophet The worshippers of dinar and dirham. Nobody has bowed before dinar and dirham. Nobody has prostrated before dinar and dirham. You know the Hindus, they worship Lakshmi Bhai. Why? Because if Lakshmi Devi is happy, then she would grant us wealth. And what do we say? Remove this Lakshmi Bhai from between. We will, we will worship the Wealth is served directly, that's all. Why to have this Lakshmi Devi in between? We can worship the wealth directly. And this is what we are doing, if you don't mind it. He is ever living, there is no God except Him. So call upon Him. But keeping your absolute obedience reserved for Allah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise is for Allah who is the Lord of all the worlds. Say to them, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I have been forbidden. I can worship those whom you are calling upon besides Allah. When clear signs and ayat have come to me from my Lord, and I have been commanded to surrender myself to the Lord of all the worlds. It is He who created you out of clay, mud, summa min nutfatin, then from the sperm drop, summa min alakatin, then from a clot of blood, as, used, as it used to be translated formally, but a hanging piece, you know, just like the leech which hangs from the wall of the womb of the mother. Summa yukhre jokum tifla. Then he brings you forth as a child, as an infant. Summa le tablungu wa shuddakum. Then so that you reach your maturity. Summa le takunu shuyukha. And then so that you become old. Wa minkum man yutawaffa min qabul. Some of you, they are put to death before that time. Wa le tablungu ajalan musamma. And that a time which is fixed for you, you have to attain it. And so that you ponder over these things. Allah who has done all this, He can create you again also. It is He who gives life and He puts to death. And when He has made its decision, So only He has to say for it, be, and it becomes. Don't you see to those who dispute the, the revelations of Allah, Anna Yusrafun, from where are they being diverted away and turned away? Allazina Kazabu bil Kitab, Wabimar Salna Bihi Rusuluna, those people who belied our book and those whom we sent with the book, that is our messengers, Fasafaya Alamun. Very soon they will come to know, they will come to their senses. When there will be fetters on their necks, there will be chains, yushabun, they will be dragged, fil hamim, in boiling water, summa findare yusjarun, 
and then they will be thrown into the fire. So Maktila lahum ayna maakuntum tushrikun. Then it will be said to them, where are those whom you associated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they can save you from the punishment? They can intercede on your behalf and save you from the accountability of the day of judgment. Min dunillah, besides Allah, qalu dallu anna. They will say, they all have vanished. They all have been lost. Wal lam nakun nadu min kabul shaya. But now we have come to understand that we were not calling upon anything. These were whims only. We thought that they have something. We, this was no reality. Kazalika yudullullahu al-kafirin. In this way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray the disbelievers. Zalikum bima kuntum tafrahoon afi lard. This is because of which you were rejoicing in the world of, of the, uh, in, in the earth. Bezhair al-haq. Without any right. Wa bima kuntum tamrahoon. And because you were exalting yourself. Udkhulu awaba jahannama khalidina fiha. Now enter the doors of the hell. To abide by there forever. Fabesa maswal mutakabbirin. So very bad will be the abode of the arrogance. Fasmid. As to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, have patience. Be patient. Inna wa'ad Allah haqqun. Verily Allah's Promise is going to come true. Allah's help will come. He will destroy your enemies. But so it's only a question of time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give them some respite. There is a fixed term for them. When that term comes to end, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send the chastisement for them. In the word Allah haqqun. فَإِمَا نُرِيَنَّكَ بَعْدَ الَّذِينَ عَيْدُهُمْ أَوْ نَتَوَفَّيَنَّكَ فَإِلَيْنَا يُرْجِعُونَ now this is also possible that we show you in your own lifetime some of that which we are promising them, that the chastisement might come to them in your lifetime. And this is also possible that we, we call you unto us back, and then they also will be done to us. And we send many messages before you, مِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَصَصْنَا عَلَيْكَ Some of them we have narrated to you, their conditions, their histories, their stories. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ لَمْ نَقْصُصْ عَلَيْكَ And there are so many among them whom we have not mentioned to you. وَمَا كَانَ لِرَسُولِ نَيَّاتِيَ بِعَيَةٍ And there was not possible for any messenger that he could bring any sign إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ Except with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَإِذَا جَعَمْرُ اللَّهِ قُضُوَيَا بِالْحَقِّ and when the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came, then everything was decided with justice and truth. And then those who, who were having falsehood, they were in the loss. It is Allah who has made for you this cattle so that you ride them, and also from them you eat. Their meat you eat. There are others uses for them, for you in them. And so that you can reach to fulfill the need that you have in your minds. And on them, and on the ships and boats, you are carried. And he shows you his signs. So which signs of Allah will you deny? Have they not traveled in the land? So that, so that they should see. What was the end of those who were before them? They were more than them in numbers and mightier in power than them. And they left signs and monuments in the land. But when the chastisement of Allah came, nothing could avail them. Nothing could save them. But when our messengers came to them with clear signs, they kept rejoicing at what we, they had already. Their creeds, their culture, 
their customs, their false gods. They were happy with them. For who be my endowment and ilm? Vahaka bihim makanu bihi astahzeun. But in the long run, those things about which they were knocking and laughing, they came and they come and compassed them. Falama rao basana. When they saw our might, kalu amanna billah. Then they said, we believe in Allah, wahdahu, thee alone. Wa kafarna bima kunna bihi mushrikeen. And now we deny and reject those whom we had been associated with Allah. Falam yako yanfa'uhum imanuhum. But now, their iman, their believing was of no evil to them, of no use to them. Lamma rao basana. When they had seen our chastisement and our might, Sunnat Allah illati qad khalat fi ibadihi. This has been the disposition or rule or law or practice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With all the, all his servants whom he had sent before. وَخَسِرَ هُنَا عَلِكَ الْكَافِرُونَ And at that time the disbelievers are in loss. Now, Surah Hamim As-Sajdah. This surah also has two names. Surah Fusselat. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حامين تنزيل من الرحمن الرحيم Sending down of this book, revealing down of this book is from the one who is all compassionate and all merciful. كتاب فصلت آياته From this is the second name فصلت This is a book whose آيات are explained fully. Quran and Arabi and the Qawmi Ya'lamun in the form of an Arabic Quran for those people who have knowledge. Bashiram wa Nazira. And this has come as a Bashir, as a bearer of the glad tidings, wa Nazir, and a warner. Fa'ana da'aksaruhum fa'um la yasma'oon. But most of them are turning their faces away and they are not listening. Wa qalu qulubuna fi yakinnati mimma tad'oona ilayh. And they say arrogantly, O oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa our hearts are under a wheel from that which you are calling us. Your call is not reaching our hearts. There is a barrier. Akinnatan mimat aduna ilayhi wa fi azanina vakrun. And you think that we are listening? No. In our ears there is some heaviness. We are not listening what you are saying. And between you and us, there is a curtain. Kamal in the Amelun. So you go on doing what you are doing, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We are also doing whatever we can do. Pull in the man, Abashanu Mislokum. Say, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Verily, I am only a mortal human being like you. You ha ilayya. But the revelation has come to me. And the ilahu kum ilahu wahid. That your Ilah, your Lord, is the only one Ilah. Fastatimu ilay. So keep your faces fixed towards Him. Fastafiru. And ask His forgiveness. Wabailun lil mushrikeen. And woe is, and disaster is for those who associate someone or something with Him. Alladina la yutunu zakah. Those who don't give zakah, وَهُمْ بِالْآخِرَتِهُمْ kafirun. And as for the hereafter, they absolutely reject it. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ On the contrary, those who come to believe and do good deeds, لَهُمْ أَجْلُ غَيْرَ مَمْنُونَ For them, there is going to be a reward which will never come to an end. Unending. قُلْ أَيْنَّكُمْ لَتَكْفُرُونَ بِالَّذِي خَلَقَ الْأَرْضَ فِي يَوْمَانِ Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, do you reject and disbelieve the Lord who created this earth in two days? And you are setting up rivals, rivals to him, equals to him. He is the Lord of all the worlds. Now these ayat are again from Mutashabihat. As I've said so many times, that Allah created the heavens and the earth and in whatever is in between them in six days. We can't know the reality of six days. Up till now, our science may be. This theories of creation, etc., etc., we are probing and probing and probing. 
Maybe someday it is revealed to us, oh, this was the thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to as six days. Up till now, now, up till this day, it's not possible. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is splitting the creation of six days into three stages. See your man. First two days, he says, created the earth. Vajana fiha ravasiya. And then he fixed the mountains of the earth. Fawtiha, from above. Vabaraka fiha. And then he blessed it. Vakaddara fiha akwataha. And he ordained in it its sustenance. This earth has all the material that can sustain the life. All the food that we living beings need. All the requirements that are there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set all these things from the very beginning in the earth. Fi arbaati ayyam. This was completed in four days. <coughs> two plus two. Two for the creation and two for making it inhabitable so that people can live here, animals can live here, and all this vegetation and all these requirements they can get. Sama al and this is alike for all the seekers. Summa stava ila sama. Then he turned to the heaven, wahiya dukhanun, and it was like a smoke. Now this word has come very near to the modern theories, you know. It was all like smoke. So it's one mass and just like smoke. But then they differentiated into different uh, galaxies. Summa stava ila sama wahiya dukhanun. It was like smoke. فَقَالَ لَا وَلِلْأَرْضِ اَقِيَا قَوْنَ وَكَرْحَا And then he said to the earth and to the, this, this mass, اَتِيَا Come to me, both of you, the sama, the heaven, as well as the earth. قَوْنَ وَكَرْحَا Willingly or unwillingly. قَالَ تَا أَتَيْنَا تَعِينَ Both of them said, we are present, we come willingly. فَقَضَاهُنَّ سَبْعَ سَمَاوَاتٍ فِي يَوْمَيْنِ And now Allah differentiated that mass, Dukhan, into seven heavens in two days. وَأَوْحَا فِي كُلِّ سَمَائِنْ أَمْرَهَا And He revealed to all the heavens its matters, its command. وَزَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَسَابِيحَ And we adorned the lower heaven with lamps. وَحِفْزَا And also guarding places. ذَلِكَ تَقْدِيرُ الْعَزِيزِ الْعَلِيمِ This is the decree of the mighty and the knower. فَإِنْ عَرَضُوا Now if they turn their faces away, قُلْ أَنْزَرْتُكُمْ سَائِقَةً مِسْدَ سَائِقَةِ سَعَادِمْ وَسَمُودِ Say them, I have warned you of the thunderbolt, like the thunderbolt which came to Aad and Samud. Aad to whom Hazrat Ehud was sent, and Samud, to whom Hazrat Saleh was sent. Is Jaat humur Rasul min bayne yadihim wa min khalfihim. When to these people, Aad and Samud, their messengers came, from front of them, also behind them. You know, the messengers took all the pains to convey the message. Rabbe inni da'otu qawmi le'alam wa nahara, we shall read it in Surah Nuh. Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam, Parvati Gaat, my Lord, I have been calling them during the day, during the night, calling upon each one of them individually, calling them collectively. I have left no, no stone unturned. Is jaatum rusulum min bayne adihim wa min khalfihim. When the messengers would come, and the, their messengers came to them, from front of them and from behind them, Allah ta'abudu illallah, saying, don't worship and obey anything except Allah. Qalu law sha rabbuna la anzala malaikatam. They said, had Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually wanted to send some messenger, he could have sent angels. Fa'inna bima ursiltum bihi kafirun. So listen, we reject with what you have been sent. You think you are messenger and you are conveying to us the message of Allah. We reject it. فَأَمَّا عَادٌ فَاسْتَقْبَرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ So the people of Ha'ad, they showed arrogance in the earth without right. وَقَالُوا مَنْ أَشَدُّ مِنَّا قُوَّةً And they said, who is more mighty and more powerful than us? أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا 
didn't they see? And Allah has the Khalaq of them, who are ashamed of them. Then at least Allah who created them is mightier than them in power. Maybe there was no nation on earth more mightier than them. But Allah was there. اَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّ اللَّهَ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُمْ هُوَ أَشَدُّ مِنْهُمْ قُوَةً وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يَجْحَدُونَ But they remained rejecting and denying our revelations. فَأَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ رِيحًا صَرْصَرًا فِي أَيَّامٍ نَحِسَاتٍ So we sent upon them a furious wind in days of inauspicious in order that we make them taste the chastisement of the degradation. فِي أَيَّامٍ نَحِسَاتٍ لِدُزِيقَهُمْ عَذَابَ الْخِزْيَ فِي الْحَيَاتِ الدُّنْيَا In the life of this world. وَالْعَذَابُ الْآخِرَةِ أَخْزَى And the chastisement of the hereafter would be more degrading, more humiliating. وَهُمْ لَا يُنْسَرُونَ And they will not get any help from any side. وَأَمَّا سَمُودُ فَادَيْنَاهُمْ As for Samud also, we guided them, we sent the messenger. فَاسْتَحَبُّ الْعَمَا عَلَى الْهُدَى but they preferred and loved more blindness than having guidance. فَأَخَذَتْ فُمْسَائِقَةُ الْعَذَابِ Then they were seized by a thunderbolt of chastisement. عَذَابَ الْهُونَ The chastisement of humiliation بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ With what they were earning. وَنَجَّانَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَكَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ And we saved those, delivered those who had come to believe and they were fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَوْمَ يُحْشَرُوا عَدَاءُ اللَّهِ إِلَى النَّارِ Just imagine the day when the enemies of Allah will be gathered towards the fire from Yuzaroon. They will be made divided into groups and squadrons. حَتَّى إِذَا مَا جَاوُهَا شَهِدَ عَلَيْهِمْ So that when they come there, شَهِدَ عَلَيْهِمْ سَمْعُهُمْ وَأَبْصَارُهُمْ وَجُلُودُهُمْ Their own sight, their own hearing, their own skins will testify against them بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ About what they had been doing. These eyes, these ears, and our skins will testify against us. وَقَالُوا لِجُلُودِهِمْ And they will say to their skins لِمَا شَهِدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا why have you testified against us? قَالُوا أَنْتَقَنَ اللَّهُ الَّذِي أَنْتَقَنْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ They will say, Today, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us speak. Just, He has made everything speak. وَهُوَ خَلَقَكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ And He had created you for the first time. وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And you are to be returned to Him. Now, why this mention of creation of the first time? When the human beings were created for the first time, there were no hands, no feet, no skins, no body. We were only spirits. Then Allah gave us these things. So they said, we were given to you later. You were created before without us. So you thought that we are not going to testify against you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a tongue. And now we are testifying. وَمَا كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَتِرُونَ أَنْ يَشْهَدَ عَلَيْكُمُ السَّرْعُكُمْ وَلَا أَفْسَارُكُمْ وَلَا جُلُودَكُمْ And you didn't want and never thought of covering yourself, fearing that might be that your own hearing and your own seeing and your own skins would testify against you. You had no idea. وَلَكِنْ تَنَنْتُمْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَعْلَمُ كَسِرًا بِمَا تَعَمَلُونَ On the contrary, you, most of them, you thought that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't know most of the things which they are doing. Now this is important to note that among a very big segment of the philosophers, the philosophers who follow Aristotle, Mashayim they are called, they think that Allah knows only the major things, major principles, not the details, not the minor details. These minor details are not in the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the waswasa, you know. Shaitan whispers into our heart, into our ear, no, no. How is it possible Allah knowing everything? So do whatever you like. Go on. Allah is not attentive to you. He is not looking at you. He is busy in his own affairs. 
So these are the things, you know, from Satan, which make you believe that maybe Allah is not seeing. This was your idea about your Lord. You thought that He knows He doesn't know all these things. Ardakum, this has ruined you. You have been destroyed due to this idea. Fasbahtum min al khasirin. So now you have become from among those who are the losers. Fain yasbiru fannaru maswallahum. Now if they endure, if they persevere, then the fire is their abode. When you start a move from Ahmed al Motamin, and if they seek to make amends and permission to go into appeal, it will not be allowed to them. Now, no apologies, nothing of the sort. Now, the, this decision is final. And we assigned, we have assigned with them their comrades and their devils, satans. And they have made whatever is in front of them and whatever is behind them as beautiful to them. Behind them, the creeds and thoughts and customs of the forefathers. That was behind. Well, this is the heritage of our forefathers, our national heritage. We are proud in it. We shall follow it. Whatever is in front of them, this world. And they are engrossed and fully lost in getting the maximum, whatever benefits you can get, whatever comforts or luxuries you can have from this world. So this way, فَزَيَّنُوا لَهُمْ These Satans, there is one Satan with every human being. This is the Hadith, the Prophet once said, with every human being there is a Satan. Now, some of the companions took the courage to ask, with you also? O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is there a Satan with you also? And he said, yes, but I have made it a Muslim. He has surrendered. He cannot do any harm to me. But hey, every person, human being has a Satan with him. وَقَيَّرْنَا لَهُمْ قُرَنَا فَزَيَّنُوا لَهُمْ مَا بَيْنَا عَيْدِهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَحَقَّ عَلَيْهِمُ الْقَوْلِ and then they deserve the word of punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fi umamin kad khalat min qablihim. Just like those people, those nations who have gone before, before them, min al jinn wal ins, from above the jinns as well as the humans. Innahum kanu khasirin. Verily, they are the losers. Wa qala al ladhina kafaru la tasma'u lihad al Quran. Very important ayah. And these disbelievers are saying, don't listen to this Qur'an. Now you know the medium of da'wah of Muhammad sallallahu was Qur'an. Wherever he went, he recited Qur'an, ayat of Qur'an. That was the medium of da'wah. But now people thought that this Qur'an is very impressive. It moves the people. People are very much impressed by it. So we should prevent people from listening to Qur'an. That is why when Muhammad came out, went out for preaching, his uncle Abu Lahab used to go with him, behind him, saying to people, don't listen to him. And he himself used to have new plugs of cotton in his ears. Lest you know this, the words of Quran should pass from his ears into his mind, and he might only be, he might also be impressed. Don't listen. He is a magician. He will, you know, bring you a spell. Don't listen to him. So now here they are saying, Don't listen to this Qur'an. And make noises. Boo down. Hoot him when he is addressing the people and reciting the Qur'an unto them. So that you can overcome and you can be victorious over Muhammad. So we shall make these people, disbelievers, who have rejected, taste the severe punishment. And we shall surely and definitely reward them. Worst of the rewards of what they were doing. 
ذال کا جزا و ادا اللہ نار ناؤ دی ریوارڈ فار دی اینمیز آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از فائر لہو فی ہا دار الخل ان دیٹ فائر دے ول لیو فار ایور دے ول اٹ ول بی دیئر اباؤٹ فار ایور جزا بما کانو بے آیاتنا یا جہدون اینڈ دس ول بی دی ریکمپنس اینڈ دی ریوارڈ بیکاز دے ور بی لائنگ اینڈ ریجیکٹنگ اور ریولیشنز وقال الذین کفروا اینڈ ان دی ہیل دوز who disbelieved that they are the hell, they will say, Rabbana, O our Lord, Arena al-lazayne adaldana min al-jinne wal-ins. Please show us those people from the jinns and the human beings who led us astray. They led us to this wrong path. Now please let them come before us. Naj'al huma tahta aqdamina so that we can trample over them with our feet. Because they are the reason, our leaders, maybe our ulama, you know, ulama of Yehud, who believed in Muhammad in, his, in their hearts. Yarifunahu kama yarifunah abnaahum. They recognized Muhammad just as they recognized their own sons. But they never came to believe. And they prevented all of their people from believing in Muhammad sallallahu So these ulama, which we called the ulama of evil, ulama of su, these ulama, these leaders, these people, who in the name of culture are misguiding people. All these things, you know. So they will say, Rabbana arena lazaina. Now please, O oh our Lord, show us those, those both, when al jinn valins from among the jinns and as well as from the human beings, who led us astray. Naj'al huma tahta akhdamina. We shall trample over them with our feet. Le yakuna min al So that they become, they go to the lowest position. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ Now the seven ayat which are coming, they are most important and very comprehensive and very profound ayat of Qur'an. And this is included in our course of selected study of Qur'an and it is the lesson number four. This gives a human character. What are the salient features of a moment, a person whom Allah loves? What are those characters? And we should read these ayat, but with a mind and with a determination that we should try to acquire this character. Follow the footsteps that are coming. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ سُمَّ اسْتَقَابُوا Verily those people who say, Our Lord is Allah, and then stand fast over it. They remain firm. Now our Lord is Allah. He is the provider. He is to give me help. He has given me life. No harm can come to me except with His permission. If He wants to do something good to me, nobody can prevent Him. He is my friend. Huwa Maulana. He is our friend. Now this relationship, to establish this relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the first step. The faith in Allah, you should have trust in Allah, you should remain happy with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for you, which we call Razi Barazai Rab, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for me, well I receive it and receive it with full pleasure. Maybe it is disturbing for me for the time being, maybe it is unpleasant, but there must be some good in it because it is coming from my Lord. And he is my, he is my friend, he is my well-wisher. In the ladina kalu rabbo Allahu summa stakamu, then they remain firm on it. That adzalu alaihimul malaika. Angels come down upon them. One thing is agreed by all that this coming of the angels, angels is at the time of death. At the time of death, when a truly believing moment, when he is going to die. Angels come for his welcome. And it is mentioned at so many times that somebody who is dying, he says, No, please make way. They are coming. So they see. They start seeing that unseen. That unseen world, you know. Its doors are open. They see the angels are coming. Give them way. So this is, they come. This is agreed upon by all. But in addition, 
to the believers, this coming down of angels is during the lifetime also. They buck you up. They say, okay, keep firm. You know, because we know from Quran, angels were sent for the help of the Muslims at Badr. Angels were sent for the help of the Muslims in Ohod. So angels do keep on coming. And they give us steadfastness. They support us against evil. You know, within, uh, within the personality, the inner personality, we have two forces. A force dragging us to bad, evil things. And a force which wants to take us to the good things. The force which wants to drag us down is our nafs. In the nafs ala maratum bisu, the id or libido, according to the Freudian terminology. And the source which wants to take us up is the spirit. That is there. The divine spirit in us. Which has come from high up and it wants to take us high up. In this same way, outside also, there are forces. There are forces, human beings, who want to take you astray. But there are other human beings also that want, them, want to take you on the right path, who are the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the real ummatis of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They have to do it. And also there are invisible forces of the evil and of the good. The invisible forces of jinns, they want to take you to evil and to, and to bad. The invisible forces. And the invisible forces, balaika, they want to take you to the right path. So this is the, you know, the battlefield. Our personality is a battlefield. And there are forces from within, from outside. And this, you know, is going on. Satiza kar raha hai azal se taim roos. Chirage Mustafa vi se shirare bulah vi. This struggle between these evil and good has been coming on, coming on from the day one of the creation of mankind. And it will continue to the last day. Inna lazina qalu rabbun Allah summa staqamu ta tanazzalu alayhimu al-malaika. Allah ta khafu. With the message, Allah ta khafu. Don't be fearful. Bala ta hazanu. Don't grieve. Wa absharu bil jannati allati kuntum tu'adun. And rejoice. Have the glad tidings of jannah, of the garden which you had been promised by your Lord. Nahnu awliyaukum fil hayati dunya wa fil akhirah. We angels are your protectors, are your supporters, are your helpers, are your friends in the life of this world also and in the akhirah also. And in the hereafter. In the hereafter we read in, you know, paradise, Angels will be coming, peel and salam and salama. He is coming and saluting us. And from another door, another angel is coming and saluting us. They will be there, our companions. But they are here also. They are with the righteous people. Support them. You know. So this is a very important thing which some of, you know, scholars of the Muslim world, this spiritual side of our religion is not very clear to them. So much so that they deny these things. There's nothing in it. Nahnu awliyaukum fil hayati dunya wa fil akhira. We are your friends. In the life of this world also, and in the hereafter. Wa lakum fiha ma tashtahi anfusukum. And for you there in the hereafter will be everything that your nafs desires. Your kid and libido will also be fulfilled. All the wishes and lusts of your kid and libido will be fulfilled to the maximum. Why? And it is logical. In this world, you kept them in restraint. This is haram. You know, your nafs wishes it, wants it. But he said, no, no. Amma man khafa maqama rabbihi wa nahan nafsanil hawa. Whosoever kept fearing, that he will have to stand before his Lord. And he restrained his nafs. So now the reward should be that in the hereafter, all the demands and lusts and desires of this nafs should be fulfilled to the utmost. Because here you refrained and restrained. لَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ Whatever your nufus 
And here I am again transfer, translating as id or libido. Whatever it will demand, that will be fulfilled. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ In addition, everything which you order, which you say you want, that will also be given to you. Now this second thing is will be different for different people. It will be different according to the level of consciousness and thinking of a person. A person might not be able to think of very some, anything very high. So he will ask for something according to his own level, his own mind. There was, you know, a very interesting event. About 20 years back, my friend, Dr. Yakin, he was coming over to America. So he asked to his sons and daughters, what should I bring for you from America? The youngest daughter said, bring for me a pencil. Now for her mind, pencil was the biggest thing. Maybe she wanted to have the pencil and the elder brother was not giving her the pencil. She wanted to write on the walls and she was forbidden from writing on the walls. So now this was her wish. That's a pencil. Bring a pencil for me from America. This is the level of his mind. So everybody, you know, Aristotle might like to demand something else. Imam Ghazali, what he will demand, a common man's demand and Imam Ghazali's demand, there will be a world of difference between the two. So two parts. Whatever your nafs demands, that is at par. All human beings have that inner libido. Whatever your nafs demands, the fulfillment to the total, to the utmost, will be provided already. But then, whatever you demand, that will be provided. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ نُزُولًا مِّنْ غَفُورِ الرَّحِيمِ And all this will also constitute a nuzul. Nuzul. What is this? I have explained that in Arabic culture, when a guest comes, arrives at your door, either he descends from a horse or a camel. Today, he must be descending from a car, but he is called Nazil, Nazil, Nazala. He has come down. And the first thing that you present to him, that is, if it's warm weather, some cold drink, Immediately. If it is cold weather, some hot drink, this is called nuzul. Now when he is staying with you, now he is your saif, not nazil. Nazil he was when he just came down of his, you know, ride. But now he is saif. And now you prepare for him zayafa. And zayafa, you know, is that you prepare, you take pains. According to the level of the person, the guest that you have, you have to prepare accordingly. So this all will be nuzulam min ghafoor rahim This will be nuzul. For the real, you know, bounties of Jannah, we have read in Surah Sajda, La ma ta'alamu nafsun, ma ukhfiya lahum min qurati ayun. Nobody knows what has been hidden there in Jannah for these people, for the coolness of their eyes. And the Prophet had says, the real bounties of Jannah are ma la aynun ra'at, wa la uzunun sami'at, wa ma khatra ala qalbi bashar. Which no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever listened or heard, and no heart has ever had any idea of it. That is real zayafa. Quran doesn't mention that. Why? We cannot understand it. That's beyond our perception or comprehension. But only this nuzul, you know, we can understand. So this is described in the Quran. Whatever has been described, the bounties of the Jannah, they are nuzul. Now the next step. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ When you have become a true bondsman, a true servant of Allah, and you have said that my Lord is Allah, and you have stuck to it, now the second step is, now you become a preacher, a caller towards Allah. Oh, my fellow beings, come to this path. You should also worship Allah. You should love Allah. You should obey Allah. Why? First of all, the, the messenger of Allah has said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, لا يؤمن أحدكم 
hatta yuhibba li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsi none of you can be a true believer unless he likes for his brother also the same thing that he has liked for himself now if you have taken to the right path the urge should be there in you that your brothers your sisters your parents your relatives people belonging to your nation they should also come to the right path so this dawa first of all we had the sura zumr ibada allah ta'budu illa allah abudu allah mukhlisin alauddin then surah al ghafir or surah al mu'min fad'u allah mukhlisin alauddin now the third step is dawa now you call people towards the worship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِنْ مَنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا Who can be better in speech than the one who calls towards Allah and does good deeds? And he says, Verily, I am also from among the Muslims. This is the main theme of this surah. Dawa, call to Allah. Call people to Allah. For which the messengers were sent. for which the prophets were sent and now this beauty of calling mankind towards the way of allah has been given to the ummah collectively because no prophets to come now no messenger of allah will come allah has made this book safe in the naru nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun take this book in your hand go to all the hooks and corners of the world and preach the word of allah can wait on the word of allah this is your duty and this is the second step of the character of a person whom allah loves wa man ahsanu qawlan who is better in speech a lawyer he all can make very good speech and argue a demagogue he becomes the leader a dictator due to his power of speaking but if allah subhanahu wa taala has given you the power to speak then you must use this faculty of yours for propagating the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa man ahsanu qawlan mimman da'a ila Allah wa 'amila salihan but the first condition is that your own deeds should be good otherwise you will be so to say bring you will be bringing bad name to your dawa look to him what a good speech he makes but look to him what is his character all the effects of your dawa gone wiped off look to what he does so whatever you are calling people towards you must be practicing it that is the condition for dawa and then waqala innani min almuslimin don't think you are something above the people but you are also from among muslims i am also a fellow muslim of yours i am exhorting you to understand the duties you, that you must fulfill for the sake of the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these are the duties brother we have to fulfill them we have to decide them i am also trying to do so and you please also take upon yourself to accomplish this wala tastawil hasanatu wa rasiya and when the, whenever there is a dawa there is a conflict you call towards something and the society is going in the opposite direction conflict will be there it's impossible that there is a dawa real dawa and there is no conflict conflict will definitely appear who are you where from do you come we have been doing this we have seen been seeing our four fathers doing this and now you have come you say that this is all wrong false who are you so now the struggle between evil and good here you have to be very persevering and forbearing bear the good bad names from come people the jokes from the people they might say he has gone crazy he has become a fundamentalist he has become such and such you have to hear these things and bear these things wala tastawil hasanatu wala sayya evil and good are not equal so it fa bil lati yasan so you should defend and repel the evil in a in a way which is most beautiful your character should be very beautiful character mohsinin 
فیض الذي بينك وبينه عداوه كانه ولي الحميم دی ریزلٹ مائٹ بی دیٹ دی پرسن ہو ہیز اینمٹی ٹوڈ یو ٹوڈے ہی مائٹ بیکم یور فرینڈ اینڈ ویری ہاٹ فرینڈ حمیم ویری سنسیئر فرینڈ وما یلقا ہا الا الذین صبروا بٹ آل دی اسٹیشنز کین ناٹ بی اچیوڈ بٹ ایکسپٹ بائی دوز پیپل ہو پرسیویئر ہو ٹیک ایوری تھنگ وتھ پیشنس who are patient wama yulaqaha illa zu hazzin azim and these stations cannot be achieved except by those who are from their mighty lord people of good fortune allah subhanahu wa taala has selected them only they will be able to reach this level may allah include us among these people barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al azim ونفعني وياكم بالآيات وصدق الحكيم الله أكبر الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing IONA is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about IONA, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.